Today in class, we did lesson 15. This is basically just summarizing all of the ways that we learned how to do ratios, because lesson 15 is the middle of our module on ratios and unit rates. So they gave us this problem. The producer of, producer of the news station posted an article about the high school's football championship ceremony on a new website. The website had 500 views after four hours. Create a table to show how many views the website would have had after the first, second, and third hours of posting. If the website receives views at the same rate, how many views would the website receive after five hours? So I'm going to make my table over here. They're talking about hours. They're talking about views. I know that I have the fourth one. So I'm going to make my table one, two, three, four and they're looking for the fifth one. Because I understand the structure of ratio tables, I know that there's a multiplicative structure. I have to be able to multiply four by something to get 500. Okay, I'm gonna show you two different ways you can do this. The first one, you can take 500 and divide it by four. You're going to be multiplying 4 by 125 to get 500, okay? Or you could do what's called scaling it down, which is the same thing. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 500 divided by 4 is 125. Now, because you understand there is an additive structure to ratio tables, you can skip count by 125. 125 times 2 is 250. 125 times 3 is 375. 125 times the fourth row is 500 and 125 times the fifth row is going to be 625. So in the first, second, and third hours, these are how many views they're going to get. And in the fifth hour, they're going to get 625 views. The second question asks us to write an equation that represents the relationship in the table we correct, just created. And they want to see if we have any connections between the equations we wrote and the ratio of the number of views to the number of hours. So I'm going to start with the equations. I'm going to give this an H for hours and the V for views. I know I'm taking H and multiplying it every single time by 125 to get V, the views. And you need to understand there's a connection this way, but there's also a connection this way. We're multiplying because these numbers are getting larger, but if I went backwards, they would be getting smaller. So I could also start with the views and divide them by 125 to get the H hours. The connection hours is 1 125th of the views, okay, as a fraction. The views are 125 times larger than the hours, and that's why we use that scaled down number in our equations. Number three, use the table to make a list of ordered pairs that I could plot on the coordinate plane. This was from lesson 14. I'm just going to make them coordinates. And we're going to plot them. And hopefully I've done a good job, or Mrs. Kitchell and I have done a good job of teaching you how to make this graph. Start with the three most important things. X y in your origin. There's 21 boxes on the bottom here, and I have five things to plot. 21 divided by 5, approximately 4, so I'm going to count by 4s on my x, 4 boxes on my x-axis, because I want my numbers spread equal distance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to label this, of course, hours. I have five things to plot with 25 things on the y-axis, so 25 divided by 5 is 5. So every 5 boxes, I'm going to make a line, and I'm going to count by 125, just like my table. And I'm going to remember, I start at the origin. The first one, I go over 1 on the x-axis, up to 125, on the y, starting back at the origin, over to 2, up to 250, back at the origin, over to 3, up to 375, back at the origin, over to 4, 
all the way up to 500 to the origin. You're probably sick of hearing me say that. Um, now, hopefully you have a ruler at home. I just have a computer straight edge. Okay, and hopefully you connect the dots with your straight line. And the only thing, I wonder if you caught it at home, that I did a bad job here, I forgot to label this views. Okay. Let's see if I've done everything. Okay, it says use multiple tools to predict how many views the website would have after 12 hours. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back to something I taught people earlier. Equal fractions. Labeled equal fractions. In one hour, this has 125 views. How many is it going to have in 12 hours? Well, 1 times what gives you 12? It's 12. Whatever you do to the bottom, top, I'm sorry, you must do to the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's why we let you use calculators here. 125 times 12 is going to get you an answer of 1,500 views. And that's really uh, a sum of what we were expecting that you would have gotten through lessons 1 through 15 of Module 1, rate, ratios and unit rates.